you know, independent of the rally, I think the economic uh, narrative that we have for the U.S., which is that 2014 would be a year when growth would be somewhat even better than already a fairly strong 2013, I think that narrative remains intact. We have seen some wobbles in the data with the payrolls disappointing last month and some of the jobless claims data also not particularly being impressive, but I think they can all be explained in terms of one-offs and bad weather. We think that between the uh, uh, housing recovery, the bottoming out of investment, and significant supply uh, contribution coming from the shale gas complex, the U.S. is poised for a multi-year uh, strong growth trajectory. So from that point of view, I think that the swoon that we have seen in global markets in the last six weeks or so were premature. Uh, I think the markets were probably getting a bit ahead of themselves. Uh, this pullback or even the consolation rally that you're talking about today, I think should be seen in the broader context that the underlying fundamental of the U.S. will probably be a very good positive pull for the rest of the world this year and next. Right. I think, you know, the slowing story is something that even the authorities uh, own up to. If you see the five-year plan that they have in place, they're looking at 7 7.5% growth on average. I suppose what is worrying the market is the risk of a disorderly adjustment toward that lower trajectory growth. And it can come from a negative spillover from the financial sector to the real economy. And hence, you know, when you see that ICBC trust issue that became quite a bit of a, you know, for fodder for a discussion in the last few weeks, uh, that uh, fed fuel to the fire, if you will, that those who are China skeptics found it as a validation that, you know, all that is wrong with China is manifested in this deposit going bad. The fact of the matter is, you know, there are credit events like this and deposit events like this and I treat the size of China on a regular basis. Uh, this was a particularly high profile one. We don't think this is the end of it, but I think we should also take away from what has happened in China in the last couple of weeks that the authorities are capable of backstopping this sort of uh, uh, deposit going wrong. Uh, they have deep enough pockets and they have their eye on the ball. Uh, so from that perspective, we think that again, the market's concern on China also are a bit uh, overplayed, if you will. And once we start seeing some export data for the month of January and February, we will see that China is also on the verge of having a big export-led recovery in 2014.